What's going on my dudes? One step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Namor in Marvel Rivals. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Namor, the best strategies to be aware of, and of course some fun team comps that you could use today. So subscribe here for more Marvel Rivals content and let's talk about Namor. I'm going to quickly go over his moves, his passive abilities and whatever so that you know what's going on in the fight. So let's blast through him. Standard, we got a really good projectile trident throw that's got some really good damage. You see there are like two headshots. They're done -zo. Now this is your primarily way to get in damage and to like take out the opponent. So Namor is kind of a, a stay back character and kind of just peeing the opponents from afar he does have a melee attack yes this swings a trident but it's not uh, it's not great as you see here we do a swing it's, a, it's just over 25 damage so about 27 damage or even from this close as a body shot the trident throw does uh, almost 75 damage so almost triple so the melee attack does have more you know sideways range i got cursors right here will swing will still hit the opponent whereas the trident throw is only for the cursor so this is if you need to like just swing and hopefully hit some but a good strategy is to like swing and while you're swinging aim your cursor so when you're done swinging you can need to throw the trident this way and then when they're this close to death yeah swing will kill but he's not built to be a melee character you are kind of staying just afar throwing your trident and just ping in enemies from afar so with that on the table that's how you really want to play you are not really going in the middle of the fight you're not a melee character because you have the trident throw and all of your other abilities are kind of built the same way you can throw out these octopus turrets yeah i'm gonna call them octa turrets you got two of them and this does kind of recharge pretty dang fast these octa turrets attack the nearest enemy and that is just really good for strategy so let's say you're here you're on the high ground you're on a balcony you can just place the turrets on the edge here essentially and have just ways to ping the opponents because they will kind of aim up or down towards the nearest enemy while you're also up here pinging alongside them those octa turrets last about eight seconds just so you know but the recharge rate on them is pretty good best tip there is you always as much as possible as often as possible want to have these octa turrets out have them around corners have them on edges have them ways to ping your opponents where they can't really get to them super easy if i'm in the middle of a fight like this and i throw it out there uh they're just gonna die pretty fast so you want to find the right and most optimal places to place those octa turrets so they stay out as long as possible now with that being said you have your wrath of the seven seas ability where you swing your trident and then throw it again like that really good damage by itself but the cool thing about that is if you throw your uh, octo turrets out here you hit your opponent with the wrath of the seven seas the octa turrets they are powered up right now they're shooting a lot faster so the strategy here is to throw the octa turrets out there and then hit your opponent with the wrath of the seven Seas, and then they're powered up you're also throwing it out there it is just deleting the opponents and a couple other quick abilities he's got blessing of the deep allows you to rise being invulnerable during this which is super nice you can go up or down during this as well control that and then with that namor has the ability to hold a jump while he's falling to descend a lot slower let's say we're super high we can then fly and then while we're in the air holding it we can actually you know throw our trident hit our opponents so as you can see here we are really projectile based our standard projectile the trident throw our octa turrets are also more projectiles wrath of the seven seas more projectiles more projectiles we are staying back and annoying them by just peeing them our ultimate horn of Proteus is really cool we call it a giant water well that does really good damage overall and you hit that right oh you can kill a lot of enemies i think it's 500 damage for that inner circle and then 200 damage for the outer circle so either way really good splash damage it's a really fun ultimate. Again, with all those abilities and passes on the table here, the best strategies you have with the more are just staying back, pinging your opponents. You're really just annoying them the whole entire time. Put your turret down there, throwing one up there. Ping an enemy with that so that way they're enhanced, they attack faster. And then if you do need, he does have a melee attack that is uh, okay. Now, what about team comms, team up abilities, stuff like that? He's got a really cool team up ability if you have a teammate that uses Luna Snow. So right here, we have our teammate Luna Snow. What does she give no more? Well, as you see down there in the bottom right corner, we have an extra move now. We can throw out our Octo Turret and the Octo Turret is actually I and hands that we have an ice octo turret what does this actually do besides what he normally does anyways well these hits are actually slowing down our opponent by 25 percent movement speed but to really showcase this you can visually see how fast these galactic bots are moving now when we throw down the ice octo turret and it hits them you see the movement speed slow down quite a bit it seems so they are moving slower allowing easier hits for us and yeah you can throw down two of those ice octo turrets as well now we got two out there slowing down all these opponents making it easier for us to land these headshots headshots making our turrets just Never that more chance. annoying so luna is my first choice when it comes to team up abilities for that reason alone i think it's always better to have that option that you have more moves to use especially in a fight where there's a lot of characters that give their teammates you know faster movement speed you can slow them down with these ice octo turrets all of that is really good with luna snow plus she's just a great healer in general other good options for teammates when you're playing no more as well any character that wants to get in close because you are the one staying you know far away if you have teammates that are trying to get in close being the annoying one up front the enemy is then more worried about the person in their face 
face like Iron Fist or Wolverine for an example and you're just staying back throwing your trident and pinging them back and forth they're trying to worry about Wolverine when you're over here like hey what's up boom headshot boom headshot because they're so distracted by the person in their face I'd recommend any character that can do that characters like Black Panther Iron Fist is a really good choice Venom Wolverine is definitely a melee character stuff like that it just kind of takes the pressure off of you being the target when they're the ones that are just so close to them they're more worried about them not you also with more strats don't forget your blessing on the deep move where you become invulnerable and you fly upwards that can be really good just for mobility in general like i can't jump up on that balcony but i can use this to get up there and then just cancel out of it attack my opponent from behind go no i can't get up there wrong yes i can easy dub cancel this surprise attack i'm not saying i recommend that always for mobility because the cooldown is a bit rough but if the time calls for it then definitely use it for that reason also a quick tip before you use the wrath of the seven seas every single time you do that i would recommend throwing out an auto turret first then just doing that real quick that way the auto turrets are automatically powered up out the gate those turrets recharge pretty dang fast anyways throw one out then wrath of the seven seas there we go now they're just powered up right there so with all of this being said how does this actually look in a match with and without luna as our teammate let's get into one and i'll show you what i'm talking about have you subscribed yet yeah i hope so okay so we're defending this area down here so i want to be up on the high ground like i said before and i want to put down these turrets wherever i can right so i'm probably putting like right Oh no! Let's get back up there. There we go. Mobility. I mean, I needed it. Turret down right there. And then maybe turret down right over here as well. So that way, we're going to just be up here with our turrets pinging our opponent when they get here. There we go. Start throwing it. Pinging them out there. Pinging them out there. Wrath of the Seven Seas. Okay, turret's gone. We got one more anyways. Throw it out there. And just keep on pinging our opponents. We're going to be staying up here until we get like a bum rush, which might actually happen. Get okay, one more turret out there. Keep him out there at all times. That rocket's got to go. He's the uh, he's the support here. Oh, here he comes. Here's Wolverine. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is where we want to just get away. Get away. Get away. Perfect. Throw him out there. We're not dead yet. Oh, our team's dead. Okay, turret out there. Turret out there. Please. Oh, we're out. We only have one turret. Okay. We're going to use Wrath of the Seven Seas. Keep pinging them, keep pinging them. We're the only one alive still. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I fell down. Okay. Get up, get up, get up. I was too far away for that, probably. Yep. Ah, this kid's fine. We got Venom out here. Venom's taking the heat while we're staying back here. This Loki's got to go, though, too. As it's coming this way, turret right here, turret over there. Oh, or we just get headshotted. While we're up here, we're going to throw down the turrets. One here. Maybe even one over there. If we, oh, we missed it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And then we'll just sit back here and start pinging our opponents this way as much as possible. So that up there. Yep, there's the power up for our turrets. Even better. And just keep pinging our opponents. That way we can help out our uh, teammates here. Okay, another turret down just in case. Battery charge is pretty dang fast. Six second cooldown. That's actually not that bad. We've got to use that a lot more, honestly. Okay, time for an ult. There we go. Anything? Perfect. There we go. Take out Rocket Raccoon. Love to see that. Iron Fist's got to go too. There we go. Perfect. I don't like this uh, low ground. I'm going to get back up here. Uh, we need to get up here. And we can do so in safety. Oh, hello, Magneto. What are you doing, fam? Too far out of range for our turrets, though, unfortunately. But we have a really good advantage here now. Throw a turret right up here. There we go. Turret there even. Just so we can start annoying them. Keep throwing that. L2 is back. Hit Iron Fist. Yes. Oh, Venom's going for our turrets. He does not like those at all. Honestly, kind of a smart call, but also annoying. It's fine. We are backing away and just throwing our, throwing our target. We cannot fight that uh, melee attack. We're going to be backing away, jump in to be a hard-hitting target, and just throwing our trident over and over again. He's got more health. Throw out a turret. Throw out a turret. Throw that out. Be annoying. There we go. Perfect. This Iron Fist is uh, rather annoying too, though. Who's pinging me over there? Is that Black Widow? Oh, my. No, it's not. That Iron Fist. We're, we're, we're focusing him. Yeah, I was like, we're focusing him. He's the problem. Oh, no. Okay. My vulnerability. Turrets, handle that, please. Just for some help. Throw another turret, just in case. Oh, man. Hopefully that hits. It does not. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Go over there. Turret right here. Oh, we only have... Okay, we only got one out. It's fine. Oh, perfect. Easy money. Go watch this. Oh, please hit. Please hit. No kills, but that was a really... Oh, maybe one kill. Really good ult. Really good ult. Way worth it. Oh, yeah. With Wolverine and Hulk down there taking the heat for us while we ulted, that was perfect. Oh, because of our turrets. Oh, Wolverine. I mean, uh, Venom. He's out here. Throw a turret down. Perfect. See what I mean, guys? We're, we're just up here quite literally uh, pinging our opponents from afar. That's the main strat with uh, with, with Namori. We're not the biggest melee fighter. We're going to let the tanks and the uh, the other duelists handle that up front. The other melee fighters, Wolverine, Iron Fist, stuff like that. We're back here being kind of a support in a way 
We're throwing down these turrets and making them stronger when we can and just absolutely pinging our opponents. Okay, there's Wolverine. Uh, we missed that shot on the uh, Wrath. It's fine. Wolverine, you dead? Please. Ooh, he, three kills? Ah, uh, that's not good. Okay, I want to get up there. Can I? Oh my gosh, I can. Okay, perfect. Turret and then turret. Why not? YOLO. Keep pinging them turrets. Be rather annoying. And just start throwing these out there. Turret's dead. One more turret out. Always throw them out as much as possible, guys. Always throw them out as much as possible. Mantis has got to go. They got two support. They got Mantis and Rocket down there. Another one of those. Ult this. Get rid of both those supports, maybe. Ooh, some splash damage. I'll take it. Oh, Thor's coming in for the ult. Let's go. Because if they have no way to get up here with their characters, then they're not going to reach us besides just like trying to projectile, projectile us anyways. Uh, I wish I had an ult right now. That'd be sick. Not much we can do up here besides just, oh, did they come for me? They did. Okay, they came for me. Yeah. They're like, he's being annoying. We got to go for him. That plan was working for a really good minute there, though. I'll tell you what. Turret's down. And then we'll just be that annoying person up here again where they got to worry about those on the ground first. Then worry about us, honestly. Okay, hit Venom. He's almost dead. Right? Oh, he's got that. No, 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 don't come for me. Please, no. Don't come for me. No. Oh, we got to get over We're going to get over here instead. We're going to get over here instead. We almost got our ult. Hopefully, we can uh, hold him off just for a bit longer. Throw the octopus uh, over there. Okay, we're going to ult this real quick. Get rid of Mantis. Ah, almost, almost. Yeah, she's gone. She's gone. And we got to get up there again. Please. Oh. Yeah, this is rough. This is rough. Let's get over here. Gotta help our teammates out. Oh, Iron Fist went right for me. See, when you get a uh, melee character up in your face, that's just hard to deal with because you don't have a ton of melee options. Hit Rocket. Throw down another one of those. Another turret for us. Oh, my gosh. So you guys see what I'm talking about with Nimor and how you really want to play in a match like that. Staying away, you're just being annoying, you're pinging all your opponents, you're putting on your turrets as often as possible. Pinging them with the Wrath of Seven Seas so your turrets become more powerful. You're not really trying to melee because you don't got a ton of great options for that. That's your big weakness. If you get bum rushed by a melee character, Wolverine, Iron Fist, unless you got a healer by you, it's pretty much GG. With that being said, my dudes, let me know down below what your thoughts are on Nimor. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Is he your main? I think he's slowly becoming my main, I'm not gonna lie. I hope this helped you. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe Subscribe here for more Marvel Rivals content. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Marvel Rivals news, guides, reactions, and more.